The pulverizer is great. It'll give you two dust for one ore. Each dust will give you one ingot when smelted, doubling your supplies. Plus, at times, you'll get an extra dust out of the deal. You can also combine silver dust and gold dust to get two electrum blend. Two iron dust and one ferrous dust to get three invard blend. Three copper and one tin to give you four tinkerer's alloy blend, which is effectively bronze. So here are the supplies you'll need. 16 coal, 5 iron, 4 cobblestone, 4 sand, 3 redstone, 2 copper, 2 flint, 2 gold, and 1 log. And the hardware you'll be needing is an iron pickaxe, a crafting table, and any type of furnace. You will need the iron pickaxe to mine the gold and the redstone dust. The first thing you'll need to do after smelting all your materials into ingots is divide the coal into four stacks and place them in the crafting table like this. Then in the center place four iron ingots to make four steel dust. Now you'll need to smelt the dust into steel ingots. You'll also need to smelt the sand into glass. Then you'll need to construct your piston by crafting the log into planks and placing the three planks on top like this and placing a cobblestone on the edges like this, an iron ingot on the center, and a redstone dust on the bottom center. Now to make the machine frame, place both gold ingots in the center, steel ingots on the corners, and fill the remaining slots with your four glass. Now we need to craft the redstone reception coil. You should at this point have an extra gold ingot in the center of the crafting area. Leave it there and place a redstone dust on the upper right corner and the lower left corner. You now have all the materials you need to craft the pulverizer. Now you need to place the copper ingots on the lower left and right. Place the flint above the copper. Place the piston on the top and the machine frame on the center. Finally, place the redstone reception coil in the lower center slot. And now you have the pulverizer, but now you are going to need a power source for the pulverizer. I would recommend a dynamo. Follow one of these links to learn more about the various dynamos. I very much appreciate you watching this tutorial. If you would like to support this project, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share it on your social media.